Hey everyone, in this video, we're going to be doing the lab setup. Real quick, a slide from before. Uh, it's going to be a row 9 ISO hypervisor of your choice. And remember, if you have any problems with your hypervisor, troubleshoot it. You're a sysadmin, you're trying to be a sysadmin. Um, go ahead and try to troubleshoot that on your own uh, with the respective documentation. And preferred resources um, on the host machine, the box in front of you should be 64 bytes or 64 gigabytes of free storage and 16 gigabytes of RAM. This is a recommendation. Um, you can do it with less uh, if you need to. And then we're going to go to redhat.com. We're going to create a Red Hat account. You're going to go to the developers page and then download the DVD ISO, which is about 10 gigabytes of space. And then any helpful links I'll provide in the description below. Okay. Um, this is what the lab setup is going to be. So you're going to have a server one, server two. Um, this is what we're going to be um, using as the IPs. Um, and then for example, here I have here IPv4 addresses should be in the same subnet as your host machine. Um, so for example, uh, if your host machine is 128.64, 32.2, then they should be in the same subnet. And then this is the resource that you should provide two CPUs and at least two gigabytes of RAM for each one, and then 20 gigabytes of space for each one. Um, you can really get away with less on the minimal install, and that's fine. And then user creation and password. We're going to create a root password. We're going to create a user with a password. We're going to allow SSH login for root. Um, and then I'll show that in the demonstration. And then before that, we're going to do, or after we do all of that, we're going to create a snapshot of the machines. Um, and that's it for the lab. Uh, we're just going to set it up get to that initial start desktop screen and that's it so so first let's get to a browser so you're gonna need Firefox or you're gonna need uh, Chrome or Edge and we're just gonna go redhat.com like this and then we're gonna go log in right here in this top right corner I can zoom in as well and then we're gonna go top right corner to log in and then you're gonna log in with whatever account you have here. I just have my Gmail. And then uh, put in the password, log in. And then so once you get to this screen here, you're gonna click here on developers right here. So developers, and then you're gonna get the developer screen. Get to the developers page right here, Red Hat Developer. You should see it here in the corner. I'll zoom in. Red Hat Developer. And then you're gonna go here, try rel right here. Green, and then we're gonna click more ways to try. And then you're gonna scroll down, keep going. And then we're gonna get down to here, which you see here. It says, see, this one here is 8.1. We actually wanna go here to 9.4. And we're gonna get down here to DVD ISO 8664, release date April 30th. See here, 10.32. And then we're gonna hit download and then you should get it to download right here. So now you should go to your uh, virtualization software of choice. Uh, for me, it's gonna be Virtual Machine Manager. And then you're just gonna click here or here on File and then New Virtual Machine. And you're gonna do Local Install Media. You got a forward there. And then you're gonna browse and then you're gonna go to downloads, all right? And then you're gonna find where you got that DVD ISO. So here is where that ISO is for me, right here. So it should end with a dot ISO. So choose volume there. And then go ahead and leave everything default forward. And then here, so then you're gonna get to this screen and then we're gonna put here 20, 48 for two gigs of RAM. 
and then we want to leave here just two CPUs. That's fine. And then we're going to afford. And then you can leave this default. If you don't have the storage, you can make this uh, less. But try not to go lower than 15 here. And then go. And then we're just going to call this row 9, serve 1. Um, and then that's it. And then we're going to finish. Yeah, we're going to finish here. Um, then here, instead of waiting the whole minute, you can go here to install. And then let it set up. Okay, and once everything's loaded up, you should get to this screen. You can make it a little bigger here um, if you want. Here, I just full screen that. And then you can go to continue. Leave everything default. And then you're going to, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go here. And this is going to be automatic. So we're going to hit done there. And then that's going to do that. And then here we're going to make sure that the server with GUI is selected. So that's fine. You can leave that done. And then here root account is disabled. So we're going to give it a password. So choose simple password that you're going to remember. Here I'm just putting in a simple one. And then allow SSH login with root. And then if it's too simple, it'll ask you to hit done again. So then we're going to create an account. We're just going to call this guy learner. And then we're going to make him an administrator and then require a password. So pass one, two, three. And then we can do pass one, two, three, just to, oops, just to keep it simple. And then once you're done with the setting that up, then you're going to hit done. If the password's too simple, just hit done again. And then that should, the next thing is going to be network and host name. So this one we're going to call it server one dot example dot com. Look at that. And then we're going to apply. And then yep, this is the virtual Nick. So that's fine. And then we're going to go begin installation. Like that. And then I'll let it do its thing and I'll forward here. All right. And then once that's finished, I fast forward it there a little bit. Um, you should just have to reboot the system. Um, and again, if this takes a little long um, or too long, uh, you may want to improve the CPU um, or something like that. But it takes a while. But once it's done, it, you won't have to deal with something like that again. And then you just go reboot system. All right, and once you get to this screen, what we're going to do is we're going to log in by clicking the name, and then you're just going to put the password. I put here pass123. Boom, and then you should get to this screen. We're going to hit no thanks here, and then don't worry about this. This is good. We'll X out of that. And then that's it. So you've installed the server with a, a GUI, so graphical user interface. And then what we're going to do now is now that we have a clean install, we're going to create a snapshot of this. OK, and then so we're going to go here. Um, it's going to say manage VM snapshots. We we'll go here and then we're going to go down here to the plus create snapshot and then snapshot one we're going to just say day zero one clean install like that and it's going to create and then 
So now we have to do the same thing with server two, okay? So for that one, we're gonna shut this one down. Okay, X out of that. Then we're gonna go back to new, create new VM. And then we're gonna go do the same thing again. We're gonna browse. We're gonna do the same DVD ISO, choose volume. Then we're gonna forward, same thing, 20, 48 and same things two CPUs and we're gonna forward and then like for this one we can we can make it less actually we'll just we'll just make it 15 we'll just do something like that and we're forward and this one's gonna be row 9 serve 2 like that and then we're gonna go boop and then here again, we can just go to highlight the install like that. If you want to make this bigger, just go here. And then um, one thing you can do is on view, you can um, scale to auto size VM uh, with window, but that'll open up uh, once uh, the install moves forward a little bit. Now that we're here on this screen, we can go to view, we can go to scale, auto resize VM with window, and then that'll make it a little bigger there. So we can continue. And then we're going to do the same thing we did for the GUI one. We're going to go here, here installation destination. This is the hard, the virtual hard drive right here. So we're going to hit done because we just want it automatic. We don't want to mess with it. And then we're going to go down here to software selection server with GUI. We're going to go down here to minimal install. Okay. We're going to hit done. We're going to do the same thing. I usually just use pass one, two, three for these things. Pass one, two, three. Okay. And then we're going to allow root SSH login with password. And hit done because the password is too easy. You have to hit it twice. And then we're just going to put learner again here. And then learner again. Oh, uh, well, not the password. We can just put pass one, two, three. Pass one, two, three. Like that. Okay. And then done and done okay then begin installation nope done done so once we complete all the settings we're gonna go here what now we're gonna go to network and host name and here we're gonna put server two dot example dot com and then we're gonna go apply and then we're gonna hit done okay and then we're gonna hit begin installation all right okay so i skipped a little bit ahead there and um once it gets here we're just gonna hit reboot once you reboot you're gonna get to this screen here and because this is the minimal installation we're only gonna have server 2 which is the host name and then the login screen so here we can log in as root and then we can put in our password that we chose and then that's it so once you get to this screen you can clear out with control l and you'll be good um, you can hit control d to log out as well and then what we're going to do is we're going to make a snapshot of this one as well so we're going to go down here we're going to here so it's going to say manage vm snapshots and then we're going to hit plus and then we're going to do the same thing we're just going to hit the Zero one initial, or uh, we can just put clean install, um, and then that's it for today. All right, and then so if you have any questions, um, just put a comment in there, and we can go from there. Thank you so much.